Hey, what's up my friends? How's it going? Hope you're doing amazing. This next chapter encourages us to abandon the status quo of what is possible in our lives and to start thinking in new and innovative ways that will bring higher levels of prosperity into our lives. So I hope you guys are ready and let's get right to it. Ordinarily, we achieve conventional growth because we think along conventional lines. We experience reasonable performance gains because we rely on reasonable approaches. We find ways to make modest improvement in the success of our lives and shoot for nothing more. Quantum leaps require you to abandon the status quo. Instead of once again trying what you always have with even more intensity and determination, you must try a different approach. U squared requires an abrupt change in your behavior. Look for a paradoxical move. For example, consider reversing your field. Try being illogical, ricochet. If you're trying to climb over a wall, open a door and walk through instead. If you're pushing against the river, try going with the flow. Use finesse instead of effort. You must do something new. The tendency when you begin to stall out is to go back to the basics and do what you do best. But doing what you do best can be the worst thing to do. It really doesn't matter how well you could do something if it's the wrong thing to do. Faith in the familiar is a trap and you spring it when you reinvest yourself in what logically should work because it worked in the past. To make a quantum leap, you need to break out of the rut where you've been running. Second guess your routines. Overcome the addiction of old methodologies. Set a new pattern. If the things you're doing stop working, quit doing them. Focus on what works. If you just quit what you've been doing instead of trying to do it harder, you'll create some space to do something else. Quantum leaps come when you seek the elegant solution. So look for an approach categorized for simplicity, precision, efficiency, and neatness. It won't be as complex or time consuming as your present struggle. Overall, it would be less demanding of your energy and emotions. U squared calls for a fresh perspective, a death move, the path of least resistance. There is a way you could do more with less. So contemplate this idea for a minute. Can there really be an easier solution to my problems? Are my old methods just not producing the same results they used to? So think about it because it could be very easy to get into a rut, believe me, I know, and stay there for years and be left wondering, why can't I have the life that I truly desire? Sometimes the dream or the vision that we have for our lives require us to level up our perspective as well. So whoever it is we want to become, we need to start thinking as though that person would in order to become that person. Just like Neville Goddard said from the Law of Attraction, the only difference between a poor man and a rich man is their consciousness. A poor man is conscious of being poor. On the other hand, a rich man is conscious of being rich. A poor man can also become rich, but he must change his consciousness as that of a rich man. All change begins in our minds and then is just reflected towards us in our 3D world. I hope this is making sense guys and if it's not, I highly encourage you to check out Neville Goddard in The Law of Attraction. It will blow your mind. So that's the ending of this chapter. I hope you guys are gaining lots of value from these videos that they're helping you on your journey. If they are, give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel so you may continue receiving self-development content that is tried and true. Thanks again for tuning in. Love you guys. Talk soon. Peace, my friends.